I think it's fine in case you face any issue just drop a message in the text or just text me okay so yeah yeah sure we connect all right yeah yeah okay so first of all congratulations to you yeah if i'm not Thank wrong you. in march uh, you reached the national number 1 right yeah congratulations thank you so much yeah that's great so let's just begin with that so how did it feel like do you know finally reach that number 1 in the seniors category i mean your parents yeah. your coaches everybody must have been really proud yeah actually you know like um, it was one of the most memorable uh, you know like victory which i've ever got throughout my career because uh, as soon as i entered uh, the senior category i got to win the uh, national championship it was uh, unexpected uh, because it was the first time i've ever played uh, seniors at the national championship so yeah it was quite challenging at the same time it was a real good experience for me to be competing with the you know like um, really good top players like aparna balan shruti kp and all of them purusha and uh, uh, megan and all whoever we played so it was really nice and to add on to the journey after those tournaments got over we played few of the uh, other national ranking tournaments so i guess that benefited us because um, uh, we won few of the national tournaments as well after the national championship so um yeah so that helped me in building up my ranking so mm-hmm. as soon as we won the national uh, championship it was like we got a boost uh, in our ranking so i was nowhere in seniors uh, okay you know, like i didn't have any ranking so yeah so that uh, gave me a real good uh, points to reach where i am and of course uh, that was in women's doubles in mixed doubles uh, also i'm ranked 1 now yeah uh, yeah i've seen that too yeah so yeah so that was uh, as well like we played a uh, 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 few semis and uh, you know we won a uh, uh, pune national ranking over there that was okay. my first mixed doubles victory in uh, the uh, seniors so all of that helped uh, to be who like to be uh, ranked one and uh, you know like i don't know my parents and all were really excited and uh, this seniors you know it's like an ocean like there are all players who will come and play so that really it's a big prestigious uh, rank i feel but uh, i was ranked one in my previous uh, age categories as well yes, so yes yes yeah so my coaches uh, yeah jagdish yadav at the yadav pro badminton academy um it was uh, he was really happy because after, as soon as we joined i guess it was almost like one and a half years or something and we got the uh, victory over there okay. being the trainee at that case so he was really happy and uh, yeah <laughs> all for <were> happy <laughs> that's good yeah, yeah like you said i think it must have been special because it's the seniors of category and you and you, you you have all kinds of players over there so yeah. could you tell us about how you started uh, playing badminton what uh, literally drove you to pursuing badminton yeah. professionally and a little bit about where you currently train and you've trained before okay so um okay first thing it was like um you know when i was a toddler or a kid like when i was 4 or 5 years um i used to stay in an apartment in uh, chamnaj pet so you know in the within the compound uh, there were many neighbors who used to play and uh, seeing that i got inspired towards the sport and um, i think it was sometime between my first and second standard uh, summer camp way back in 2007 uh, that's when i started i was put up uh, put up for a summer camp in uh, bangalore city institute and uh, that's where i started so the coaches over there just uh, saw me and they were like you have real good um, you know wrist work and stuff so they said if you take it as a profession it will be really nice because uh, very few players have this kind of inbuilt skills so we sure. pursue that so yeah so that's how i started within like one year one and a half years 
I think it, um, I got a state championship trophy in under 10. That was my first victory in the journey where I started. And, Which year uh, was that? Do you remember? Yeah, I guess that was in uh, 2000. Um, Eight, two thousand, okay. yeah, two thousand eight or that, yeah. So that's when it happened, and uh, after that, I won the, uh, you know, like uh, under ten national championship way back then. That was under ten. Now it's under eleven. Uh, yeah, so great. I won both singles and uh, doubles in that. So that's how it started. And uh, second part of your question was where I train now. So now I train in Yadav Pro Badminton Academy. It's in JP mm. Nagar. Uh, yeah, so my coach out there is Jagdish Yadav. And um, yeah, so before that, I've trained in many other places. Starting mm. off, I said BCI. I've trained with Sudhakar Sir. Uh, then after that, I moved on to Prakash Padukon uh, Badminton Academy. And then... I've gone to a uh, white pickup before now called Level Up. And yeah, yeah so now find white people here. Yeah. Okay. You used to train in uh, Skyfinch JP Nagar? Yeah, Skyfinch JP Nagar. Oh, that's so nice. Same. Yeah. Yeah. I've been there a couple oh, of actually, times when I used to be in oh, Bangalore. Oh, yeah, yeah. It's a nice place. Like, I think uh, they have a lot of uh, this thing. Like, they give codes for booking and all. So, uh, yeah, yeah, I've played there. Through your university. Times. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> nice place. Okay, I didn't know it was in JP Nagar. I thought it was in the other. There's a huge one, right? In KR Puram somewhere. Yeah, there's in K- they have a lot of, uh, you know, uh, setups. They have it in KR Puram, I think Mahadev Pura, and few more places. Mm-hmm. So, okay. uh, Puram is huge. Uh, JP uh, is close to my first. place. I used to live in JP Nagar oh. fourth place and then uh, around that other side of Banergatta Road, you know, near Begur side. Oh, yeah, so, yeah, 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 yeah. Oh, nice. It's behind Brigade, uh, Brigade Millennium. So, yeah. yeah. So, that's my grandmom's place. So, in between the session, if I want, I'll just go rest there or have breakfast and come. Oh, that's wonderful. It's that was like me. literally my area. We, I, I've grown up in that area, you know, the JP Nagar, Jain, yeah, you know, and all yeah, that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. So, you, you've been playing since a very young age, like you said, you know, like you won your first under 10 when you were 8 or 9. So, what what, what, how, what has your parents' role been in supporting your career and how has your school and college supported you? And I think I've heard about you scoring a perfect 10 on 10 CGPA even in 10th. So how have you balanced all yeah. that? Uh, so actually to uh, mention about my parents' support, it's been really huge because my mom was a practicing doctor. Oh so, my God. Uh, yeah, so she was a practicing doctor and, uh, you know, like, because I took it as a profession and I had to pursue, build up my ranking and, you know, maintain the um, uh, my name in the circuit and all. So, um, my mom played a huge role because being a girl, it's very difficult for us to travel alone. True. And, uh, yeah, so uh, she left her job and... Uh, that was her major sacrifice towards me to play uh, badminton. And uh, she travels uh, along with me to wherever I play right now. So, yeah, so she practiced for almost 17 years and she left way back um, to just support me. That was her biggest sacrifice. And uh, uh, my, my father, now he's retired, but uh, he helps me financially supporting me to go for tournaments whether it could be national or international so that's how they have been support uh, supporting me apart from that uh, you know it could be the smallest things it could be start from my nutrition from my mom like to me to see that I'm in good shape uh, you know like before or after the matches you know the all roles what a mom plays yeah so that's the biggest sacrifice you know leaving her job is like her Biggest yeah. thing she's I think ever done to me. Auntie for that. Yeah, yeah. So yeah. So my dad, he stopped, but he helps me financially. And sometimes he also, uh, you know, in some of the tournaments where I have played, he has also traveled with me. 
leaving his uh, you know peak uh, times like it could be something in the office he has left that and he's traveled with him as well sports is definitely full of a lot of sacrifices they say you know it's not just yeah. the athlete you also need a strong team with you strong exactly yeah so that's the thing okay tell us about your like how's your experience been with your school and then college and then balancing it out i mean so, eh, no matter what as an athlete you definitely especially in india you would need some sort of an educational backing at least a basic level okay. and it's a real struggle okay. for every athlete especially when you when you are playing at that level i don't think you train anything less than 6 hours a day right yeah and definitely okay. schools schools can have an issue with that yeah so uh yeah i was studying in delhi public school bangalore south from first to 10th so mm. they were really supportive like okay. uh you know the uh, the uh, staff or the faculty over there they were really helpful so um and i scored 10th cgp in 10th it's because of them and uh, uh not to be uh very specific but my uh 10th thing the way how i scored was because i had played a lot of tournaments during that year i had represented india in world juniors that year mm-hmm. and um, it was sometime in november and you know the board exam starts in march so mm-hmm. it was really less time and that time there were preparatories and other things going on in school so mm-hmm. i missed few of them over there but uh, my class teacher uh, and my school mates or uh, my best friends really helped me out by providing me with the worksheets or it could be you know catching up uh, with the notes whichever mm. i've missed out and uh, yeah that that's how they helped me uh, and they had given permission for me to you know uh, practice as well as come to call, uh, come to uh, uh, school and study but in 10th i wanted to focus uh, it was not like i spent more time on uh, practice it was like um after the school hours got over i went to practice at around 3:30 and i cope up like that and uh, uh so that that was the scheduled uh, intent and um in college i study in jain university it yeah so uh, they are very supportive the sports department over there really mm. you know they have given us permission to you know just practice all time and just write our semester exams so that was really helpful and um, uh, the faculty right there also you know because we are sports students we could go mm. and ask the last woman for the student workbook or any kind of material we want to study and they'll okay. just tell us like this this is things are important and you can just go ahead with this so both my school as well as my college were really were and are really supportive That's and uh, now that it's the pandemic um, i'm attending online classes and mm-hmm. i'm in my final year so i want to see how the world is in studies as well because i think uh, right now it's like you know we can balance both because it's not there true true it's yeah. great i think that kind of a support is very nice to see that yeah. you know there are people who do support uh, athletes wholeheartedly very yeah. much needed so yeah. next let's talk about this like uh, it's often uh, you've been playing singles as well earlier and you've done pretty well in that too and you play doubles yeah. and you're pretty good at this too so yeah. how do you manage this dilemma like singles doubles and how do you decide which is the one you want to focus on okay so uh, till 2019 i used to play singles hmm um until my under 19 i used to play singles so uh what i felt was i had much interest in both singles and doubles till then but later on um i was winning almost all of the national championships in uh, in doubles as well like it could be under 13 15 17 19 so if i was in 13 i used to win 13 and 15 it was both the both the categories so it was quite difficult for me but there was a stage when i felt i really have to you know like i was good in singles as well like 
the tournaments mm-hmm. which I have played in singles, I would max reach semis or sometimes finals. So it was very challenging for me. But then later, my coach told me that because you have uh, achieved a lot in doubles, I would feel I feel that you better shift to doubles. And uh, there are very rare players like you who can you know uh, dominate and get those victories. So that's when I started. Uh, sh- uh, that's when I shifted to doubles. Oh, that's great. Yeah. So when was the cut you also made to playing mixed doubles as well? Because I think initially you had a great stint in girls doubles. Yeah. So uh, it was, I guess, in 2000. 18, I don't remember exactly, but I think 2018 okay. was uh, my first uh, mixed doubles tournament I played with uh, Sai Pratik and it was in Trivandrum. Okay. And uh, we played from qualification in that uh, tournament mm. because we didn't have any ranking. So we had to play qualification and uh, we won the tournament. We beat the first seed there and we won it. So Great. later on, that's when I took, uh, that was the uh, year when I took mixed doubles mm. and um, in the pre- uh, and in the uh, years to go like um, in 2019 and 2019 uh, we won the junior national championship in Lucknow in mixed doubles and um, yeah so in 2020 we've played quite a lot of semis and we won the this thing. So I don't remember exactly when I actually sh- uh, took up uh, this thing, but yeah, okay. some uh, my coach had told me like coach when I was in uh, complaining. Uh, huh? Jagdish sir, the one you're training under right now. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, yeah. So they had told me that uh, along with singles, it would be a little difficult to cope up with girls doubles, and uh, okay. Because there'll be too many rallies. Now you can see in the circuit, it's not like it'll get over in 20 or 20 shots or something. Yes, there definitely. Many rallies. So then he's like, you'll get tired. So if we go to play mixed doubles, but nevertheless, even that is tiring because you have to patch up near the neck and the pace hmm. is too much because the guy is also there right there. Correct. So quite yeah, so he told, take singles and mixed doubles. It'll help you to build up, uh, you know, cope up with your stamina or something yeah okay so uh throughout your career like initially you had one partner with whom you had really great success yeah in your junior years and then shifting yeah. to another again you had a great success with her too and i think the interesting thing would be both of your really good singles players too so how has the yeah. transition been is it challenging or was it easy for you like what's your experience been in general like, are you telling in terms of junior or both, like junior and no, like senior? Change. I'm talking about the change, like how you had one partner with whom you shared a very great rapport and then you had to change to another partner and okay. the styles of play and how you had to change yeah. your game according to that. And of course, even mental aspects and bonding with your partner. Okay, so first, uh, in juniors, uh, me and Nitala used to play together. I guess it was almost like around uh, 10 years proper or not 10 I remember I playing remember. against you both in 2016 oh. uh, it was okay. in KBA the states championships okay yeah I used okay. to play with my sister so we were up okay. against you in the quarterfinals oh. it was a great experience for us okay <laughs> yeah so yeah so I used to play with her uh, until my junior uh, I think until my 19th first year okay. and um, later on uh, like we, we we had really good rapport we used to understand each other really well but uh, due to some uh, you know like uh, I changed the academy and um, you know we parted ways because she went to Bokucha and I, I want to focus on singles and all so we didn't we couldn't play together uh, nevertheless, like we we really had good this thing, and we were dominating in uh, you know like the junior categories. Very much. Yeah, yeah. So we remained one in both like all all the categories. So yeah, uh, that was really nice, and uh, it is uh, it was a nice journey playing with her. 
uh, and uh, to talk about Shikha, yeah, she's uh, specialized in singles. She's a very good singles player, and um, um, she's she was ranked one in her juniors, and uh, in seniors she's ranked seven. And uh, uh, it, I, as I told you, like it was really a coincidence that we got entry in the national championship to play, mm-hmm. and uh, it was it, it was not like we practiced. Uh, for the tournament or anything, just a week before when we got when we got to know that it's confirmed, your our entry is confirmed. That's when we started playing, and she was focusing on her singles because she had. Okay. Uh, there, there's two different draws in the national championship, so mm. she had to play that, and uh, she was focusing on that. And uh, when we got to know it was this just a week before we started playing, uh, we also have a very good understanding, like. We are good friends of court. She's like my okay. sister, and uh, uh, we uh, share a good bond on court. She is. We both are there for each other, like no matter what the situation is. So okay. because we are good friends of court, I think that that's the reason uh, why we not why like we have a good rapport on court, and mm. uh, there's nothing. She cover ups. Uh, we both cover up each other's uh, weakness. You know, to get the best result mm. out of us. So okay. if there's something like that, yeah. So that's how it works. So you had an open mind and you got adjusted yeah. uh, without yeah. much hassle. I I'm, I can I can adjust to anybody who I play. That's a great attitude. Really yeah. nice. Okay. So what are your uh, long term goals in professional badminton career? Of course, currently because of Corona, I can say. Many things have gone yeah. for a toss, but otherwise, Correct. see, we were planning for quite a lot of tournaments uh, in uh, this year, but because of pandemic, we couldn't. We wanted mm. to build up our uh, world rankings, okay. and uh, uh, we were we had planned for a lot of international tournaments to play. Okay. So we were planning those tournaments because we had a aim to get into the top uh, fifty. Hmm. Top fifty by twenty twenty one. Okay. Okay. So that was the thing, and uh, hmm. our main target was to qualify for the twenty twenty four Olympics. Uh, with our world rankings. That's uh, So we were we we that's when that's why we started uh, playing internationals. Okay. So right now uh, we've played around uh, five. We played the Europe circuit, hmm. out of which four we played. Uh, out of Belgium. which. Uh, Polish, yeah, yeah, Belgian, uh, Polish, Ukraine, and uh, Maldives. These were the four we played. Okay. Uh, and um, in Poland, uh, I got a bronze in women's mm-hmm. doubles, and uh, in mixed doubles and uh, women's doubles in uh, Maldives, um, women's doubles we got bronze, and uh, this uh, mixed doubles Six. we got silver. Silver, yeah. Yeah, that was my first uh, international medal, and uh, because of the tournament, uh, thank you. Uh, so yes, for the first time we played, I guess from a uh, zero ranking, we've reached hundred and eight uh, and yeah, hundred and ten in the world. Yeah, in the world. Yeah, it's great, great. So let's just thank hope you. that the pandemic situation, you know. Gets better soon, and you know even the Correct, international yeah. circuit begins. I think almost mm-hmm. many sports, cricket, football, they've all started international tournaments, but badminton still seems difficult. Yeah, because it's indoor, right? I think it's yeah, and I think too much is. travel also, right? So it becomes very yeah, risky yeah. from one country yeah, to another right. again and again, and too many people coming in. True. Correct. Yeah. See, let's hope for the best. You can't risk players' lives yes. also too much. Yeah, correct. So, like, uh, um, what do you think is the kind of uh, support you need specifically when you talk about, you know, wanting to progress internationally? You know, I mean, that's it. it it's quite different from just playing states and nationals. It requires support beyond that, and for yeah. you know, targeting Olympics, I believe there are certain specific uh, infrastructural, financial. any kind of specific yeah. you know technical support that an athlete requires yeah Correct. so what in your opinion is 
something that is very essential to you for your progress to achieve what you have in mind um like to pursue um any kind of uh, you know like uh our target uh because we are aiming at i'm aiming at 2024 uh, olympics hmm. i feel one thing uh, which i am lacking at is uh you know badminton is a very um, expensive sport true yeah so um uh for building up our uh, bai rankings or bwf rankings um it's very critical for individual families to support how far can they support with how much have we like you know any it's true and this needs a lot of travel all over the world correct it could all over the world it could be even in the national circuit or it could be in the international circuit there are a lot of tournaments which will be conducted and you'll have to play all of them so it's difficult to it it will be difficult um to manage without a proper sponsorship true okay um that would be one thing and uh, you know uh, each person's build is very built is very different hmm uh so what i feel is like um with the funds what they give we can arrange proper training like it could be personal training sessions with your trainers with your nutritionists then it could be our training like our one on one training with the coaches and etc um and all the stuffs you know which combine together to be what we want to be so i think that's one of the major things which will play an important role for me okay. to you know like get a sponsor and Oh, yeah. Okay. Okay. Point well noted. So let's see. I mean, this is a, a message that even we'd like to put across. You know, like to yeah. our readers. You know, see what are the genuine problems that an athlete faces and what kind correct, of support correct. they do require. You know, for them yeah. to, for, uh, which will help yeah. them to progress internationally. Correct. I think. that's all serious questions i have for you is there anything like else you would like to share with us ah uh, not really <laughs> okay like, uh, um one thing which i would suggest is um talking about the sportsmanship like every individual will have a sportsmanship spirit so i believe that one should not have dual personality okay okay so how one behaves on court reflects how he behaves off court as well hmm it, it could be um uh, showing some kind of courtesy and respect towards respect. your opponent hmm. your teachers yeah teachers um your parents it could be the line judges or the um uh, umpire or uh anybody who plays a major role in on court or off court the main thing would be you know like showing them some courtesy and some kind of respect and uh, yeah so i would tell all the young athletes to you know take some or the other sport i won't say specifically about it to hmm. engage themselves in some extra curricular activities uh and you know now it's changed the whole thing has changed it's not like how it used to be before like all parents yes. telling them to study or take up education as their priority or something it it's like you you take you take it as a proper profession if you want or just make sure you take some sports to maintain yourself it could be regarding your fitness or health or your own interest or whatever so be really nice if you could take some sport and i think uh, um in the, uh, i think sports is coming up in india yeah i think definitely i agree with you sports is coming up and it also helps build a person physically yeah. and mentally it builds your character yeah. i mean the most yeah. discipline just you know kind of gets drilled into you especially when you have to wake up at 4 o'clock 5 o'clock and go for training correct. sessions correct it yeah. just happens <laughs> yeah 
that's nice. one thing i mean it builds a lot of discipline and teamwork perseverance and what not i mean i think most of the things i've learned from this sport definitely although i had a really short time playing but i can totally understand and relate to whatever you say yeah. you know? it just happens yeah correct it it just happens and it's really nice if you play a sport i mean uh, if people don't have that some kind of discipline they might get it by playing some sport definitely totally agree with you on that yeah okay uh do we have a short time for a rapid fire yeah so sure. okay okay fine favorite food curry rice with pickle okay which is your favorite place i would want to go to pattaya okay nice <laughs> then which is your favorite movie or tv show so i watch uh, too many reality shows so okay. i like indian idol and okay. uh, there are super dancer and uh, you know india's best dancer mm. coming now mm. and to talk about movie i guess i like the movie mom okay mom yeah by shri devi mm-hmm. i love that movie yeah okay that's nice who is your favorite badminton player uh sanon neva okay <laughs> favorite ice cream flavor skin flavor vanilla do you have any you know something like a lucky charm or any superstition that you have before going into a match okay i don't know maybe there some players do have it yeah so i believe in my guru like not as in like a, i don't know how to say okay guru in the sense of my obviously i believe in my teachers and all i'm talking about our uh, spiritual uh, guru uh, yeah yeah spiritual guru okay. and uh, i think um, the one thing which i do is like i pray say, uh, mm-hmm. i mean like i i uh, truly believe in him and i think his i've met him a lot of times and i uh, you know i just love the way how you know he builds up my uh, uh, courage and you know before i okay. go for any tournament and uh, i believe in lord uh, in lord uh, ram so um okay, very good. yeah so yeah so my guru and lord ram are both he is a, a believer in lord ram so yeah so okay that's, that's nice yeah which is your favorite racket arc saber series arc saber 11 yeah okay uh, yeah. your favorite training drill My favorite training drill is the smashes and near the net or uh, some taps or uh, like mainly for interception mm-hmm. that's what i like yeah okay it builds on smashes and net shots yeah nice okay so that's about it that's all i've got for you with my rapid fire Okay. It was really fun interacting with you, Ashwini. Thank you so much. Thank you for, uh, uh, t- uh, I mean, thank you for nominating. She's doing mm. a lot over there. So, like, she has come after a very long time. And a uh, few of my, and it's been so long because all of us are busy with school and college and all. It was very difficult for us to come and meet and all. So, what we used to do is, like, 5:30 we'll meet up in terrace we'll play something till 6:30 6:30 to 7 we used to chit chat and we used to talk so it was like that okay but later on it changed and mm. now what i do is like because i have class uh, from 8 o'clock what i do is like i train from uh, because today we had a meeting i didn't do at uh, i did it early or else uh, i do like okay. around 5:15 5:30 Ah, five thirty, five fifteen, five thirty to around six forty-five minutes. Not more than that, and it's boring. Okay, to sit and uh, sit and do work, think, workouts at home.